Hi, my name is Tyler, and today what we're going to talk about is the new Rokinon Cinema Autofocus lenses. Now, some of you may know that these lenses have come out. Um, are they any good is the question. And simple answer is, yeah, they're great. Um, a little bit of focus breathing, which some people don't like. It's nothing too insane, but honestly, autofocus is wonderful. And the color tone across all of the lenses is fantastic. All the same. So, the new thing I want to talk about today, though, is will these lenses work on the DJI Ronin 4D? Absolutely, they will. So whenever I bought these lenses, um, initially what happened was I got the lenses and I went to put them in and the autofocus was very wonky. Like it wasn't working. It was just jittering back and forth in focus, not working. Luckily, I was smart enough to buy the firmware update little chip that goes with it that you plug into your computer because whenever you go on there to change any settings through Rokinon's um, app or it's Sam Yang's um, app, you basically can tell the lenses that you don't want it to control the autofocus. You want the camera to control all parameters. And once I turn that on, autofocus works seamlessly. Um, I got all of the cinema autofocus lenses that are out so far, 24, 35, and 75. But throughout this year, we're going to see the uh, 20 millimeter and the 45 millimeter, all at T1.8. So what T stands for instead of F stops is transmission because it transmits an exact amount of light versus f stops which is a theoretical version of light meaning it theoretically has that much light going through it but in actuality there are small differences in the amount of light coming back to the sensor and it's not as accurate as t stops so what i love about these lenses is Obviously, they fit on the DJI Ronin 4D. They're super light, no recalibrating. And the fact that on the front of the actual lens, it has metal pinpoints that actually have something that can be attached to it. Now, they just released um, an aperture motor ring, which I don't quite understand why you're going to need this. I believe it's good for people who don't have the DJI Ronin 4D. Say they want to put a follow focus or a daisy chain of follow focus with another follow focus so you can have aperture and focus pulling. But I don't find myself pulling aperture a lot. Um, the only other reason this would be good is because it has the actual measurements on the side so they want it to be cinema grade professional so you're knowing exact measurements of the light and that's what a cinema lens is it has all those things on the side but with dji ronin 4d's system you see everything right in front of you with the lidar the aperture, everything. It's very seamless. So you don't actually need that attachment unless you want to look cool or you really need a matte box because apparently it has the standard size um, with that adapter to be able to fit matte boxes now. What I'm actually excited about is not a variable ND because as you may know, DJI Ronin 4D already has um, nine stops 
of ND in the camera, all the way to 2.7. The thing I am excited about, though, is the possibility of there being an anamorphic adapter attached. Um, I would definitely recommend these lenses, especially at the price that they are. Um, they're around 600 to 650 for each lens, uh, around 290 grams um, in the weight. And honestly, they're very smooth. Like going down to T1.8, you definitely get that cool bokeh background. Um, you definitely just have a lightweight monster that you can work with. Um, I do like the big lenses. I do like cinema lenses, but when you have a camera like mine, you want to be able to get lenses that can optimize your performance while the DJI Ronin 4D can have big lenses on it now due to the Ronin 4D flex and the pan access lock attachment. Um, I don't find myself getting those big lenses anytime soon, uh, mainly because I spent a lot of money. It's just what do I actually need to spend my money on versus actually just getting out there and being creative and stop thinking about the coolest new lens and start shooting some stuff. But that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great day.